This is another 243 video. New bullets, new powders, testing at 100 yards. The reason for this is because so far I've had mixed results on this 243 and it was a gift from my wife. So I'm going to go ahead and give it the best I can do. So hang on folks, let's get shooting. then today we're going to be shooting ELDX 90 grain and Sierra Game Changer 90 grain and we're going to be using Winchester 760, H4350 and H4831. Now the reason for this disparaging in powders is because I'm trying to find where the sweet spot is to get the velocity up on this rifle. In my previous videos you've You've noticed that while well, the 80 grains did shoot up to capacity, about 3,200 feet per second, but the 95s and the 100s were about 100 to 150 feet below what was listed in the manuals. Now, I don't hold 100% stock to the manuals, but I do hold 100% stock to the cartridge and the rifle. It should be doing what this rifle was intended to do, which is to shoot between 2,900 and 3100 at minimum as far as the larger uh, bullets are concerned. So I dropped down to the 90s. Never shot these before in a 243, so we're going to see how they shoot. So hang on, you know the drill. I've got to go down and turn on the target camera down there. I've got to load up and we'll get to shooting. Hang on. Well, that was a superb group. Again, I'm only showing you the last three shots of a string to kind of speed this video up to keep it under 12 minutes and to keep it somewhat interesting. Uh, but Winchester 760, I should have started with that in this load workup. I'm finally over 3,000 feet per second. That last three average was 30, 31, and you'll see the group. Okay, so I'm going up a half a grain now, and uh, it'll shoot the target that's just above it. The last one I shot, upper left. Thirty seventy, getting there. Thirty feet short of where I want to be, but that's close enough. If it's a good group, keep your fingers crossed. I'll just go home. Nah, I like shooting. Oop, a little off. I dropped down to thirty thirty four. Uh, let's see if it was me. Probably was. Yeah, that's starting to open up a little bit. So that previous charge was probably the way to go because I was even a little bit faster. This average was 30-44, so you know, 13 feet per second faster. Okay, you know the drill. Let me go reset up, and we're moving along to now the Sierra Game Changers, also with Winchester 760. Okay, the first three of those Sierra Game Changers, if you recall, go back a few videos ago. These are pulled bullets that I bought in bulk. I tried them in a six millimeter arc, had mixed results. So I could tell that these were loaded for the 243. So I've been Really excited about trying them. They are 90 grain. Uh, the first three was pretty good and the average was just as good as uh, as the ELDX's, uh, about 30-35. So here's the next three. It'll be right hand target, upper left. Just above the last three that I shot. Thirty fifty six. Getting there. 
I could feel that was a little warm. Thirty forty six. So far, no sticky bolt lift. Primers look fine. Good old Winchester 760. Never let me down. Alright, let's see if I can tighten this up a little. A little. 3060. Alright, folks. Alright, so the next uh, powder charge is H4350 with the ELDXs. So you know the drill, you'll see the last three of the next string. Okay, so here's the last three of the H4350 ELDX, just kind of a bonus because I'm sure I screwed up before. Ah, oh, cut me some slack. That thunderstorm up there has got me a little bit spooked. Plus the stock market was down for four consecutive days, ain't made me happy. Alright, well here we go, hopefully this test will make me happy. This is a half a grain more, 43 grains of H4350 with the 90 grain ELDX. It'll be the target on the left, upper left. Well, be the left hand target, upper right. How's that? All right, 3,100, yay! We did it! It ain't the gun, it's the ammo. Now let's see if it groups, that might be my load. Uh, 3,124. Can't complain about that. If you're a hunter, speed with a small caliber, small caliber, uh, you know, I consider the 243 a intermediate caliber, I guess, but with a 90 grain bullet, you need that speed to provide you with that energy and to extend your maximum point blank range. Now, at that speed, 3170, I'm as fast as the 6 millimeter Creedmoor, and the energy is identical. So let's go ahead and Get this last shot taken care of. Hopefully I can improve upon what I did. Yep. Okay. Now let's move on to the last six of the Sierra Game Changers. Now I'm using 48 31 shortcut. All right, we'll talk about that in just a minute. You'll see the last three shots. I got it right this time. Let me go reset. Let's get busy. Okay, H4831 is a slow burning powder that works really good in my 300 H&H &H Magnum and even the 270 Winchester. Now I decided to try it in the 243 because it was the recommended uh, best powder in the Lyman book as far as speed, standard deviation, but those first three shots were a little bit erratic and it was very slow. I'm back down into the 2800s again. So this is something that we do learn through the process of using different powders and different bullet weights. I'm happy with the 4350 and the 760 uh, speed class. So that would also be reloader 16 and uh, stay ball 6.5 all four of those uh, powders are in the same uh, burn rate chart and gave me the velocity that i'm looking for all right so let's do the last three shots and see if it's a surprise with 4831 shortcut hell i think this powder's older than i am when it was developed not this canister <laughs> all right it'll be the upper target on the right 
I'm going to take my time on these last three shots so that I'm ruling out me. Only 28.82 on that's on the max charge. Now again, because I like speed with these mi with this mid-size uh, cartridge and a small bullet like a 90 grain, this ain't gonna work. But let's see how it groups. Heck, I got them loaded. Might as well shoot them. All right, that jump clear up to 29.54. That's erratic. Hope somebody's not in trouble on the highway there. Say a quiet little prayer for a second. Amen. Well, pretty good group. 2847, so still slow. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap this up, get back to the barn, analyze that target, and come up with some conclusions. Hang on. Okay, let's get a good look at this target over here. The Winchester 760 on 90 grain ELDX for these two, H4350 for these two. Over here was the Game Changers, the 90 grain Sierra Game Changers. Over here was Winchester 760. Over here was H4831. Okay, so some of you guys like to see measurements. So let's go ahead and measure that first group there. Uh, let's see. 0.636. Second group. 0.813. Then over here with the uh, 4350, that first group, about the same size, 0.835. And then up here, let's see, 0.938. Then over here, it looks like the best one is uh, the uh, game changer with. Winchester 760 0.401 and point five two zero. then the 4831 uh, that opened up a little bit Come on, kind of hard to handle this one-handed. 957, and then the last was 0 .678. So there isn't a, there is not a group that is unacceptable, but the only one that had the good SD and extreme spread was the Winchester 760 with the Sierra Game Changer of 9 and 18. Everything else was unacceptably high. 22, 27, 26, 28, 28, 54, and 25. So where that standard deviation extreme spread comes in that's important is, is the consistency the further out you go. Uh, if you're starting at, you know, half inch MOA, and you have a low standard deviation from shot to shot, you'll have less shot dispersion the further you go out. Now to 100 that's not necessarily that important, you know, out to 350, 400 yards. But to long distance shooters or target shooters that go beyond that, it makes a big difference. Uh, so the lie detector of the chronograph is essential to measure that. But right now there is, you know, you guys can see it. There's basically three or four groups on here that are totally acceptable. 
and every but everyone except for the H4831 shortcut met my goal of being over 3,000 feet per second. Okay, folks. Well, if you like this content, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Uh, God bless you all. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye for now. Take care.